got another DIY one-to-one -to -one class. Today's setup, we've got comb to start at the back and we've got three combs, one step apart, away from each other, one on the right, one on the left. If you haven't got different colours, not to worry. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up. Starting at the gap towards the orange cone, you're going to jog forwards, come around the front, jog it backwards, then you're going to side step to the next channel, again forwards, this time around the yellow cones, backwards, making sure to be careful, side step across, jogging forwards again. Gap, we're going to go across. To the other side, backwards, 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 through the gap here, but straight across, straight into our backward steps, heels off the floor when we're working. We're going to go into the gap, we're going to go diagonally across, around the top cone, side step, through, and then back down. Again, come across, we're looking to work all the way through, around that cone, side step across to the other side, working backwards to the start, across, diagonally, again. Okay, all good, and as you work individual feet, we're gonna go to the orange, we're gonna lift that knee up, one, two, three, jog back down that channel, round the cone on the ball, to our left leg, one, two, three, again, Jogging back down to our right foot, and again. Shuffle, shuffle, working back round. Side step across, again. Shuffle, loads of little steps, working back down and across. A little progression here, all we're going to do now is side step. As we side step, we're going to come and we're going to work backwards, but keeping our body facing forwards all the time. Come backwards again, so always keep the body facing forward before we change to the next side. Working backwards round the cones two, round and through. It's a side step through, forwards, forwards, around the top, straight through to backwards again, keeping our body facing forward, heels off the floor at all times. First place forwards, forwards, backwards, go round the cone, still facing this way to work back through. Forwards and backwards movement. Back to the first cone here. Shuffle around. Again, if you go to the yellow first, through the gate, round we go. Into the next one, around we go. Forwards, keep your facing the same way until we finish. Yeah, just in the box. Walking around on your tiptoes to start, just to activate those calf muscles. Two little turns as well. Okay, just walk with hip. Every now and then, just a straight kick, little steps in between. Straight kick, little steps in between. Good. Good, good. Work on the insides of our legs, what we call opening the gate. Leg goes up, 
leg comes out, few steps in between, few steps in between, few steps in between, few steps in between. Loads. The more controlled the stretches are, the better they will be. We're going to work on our quad. All we're going to do is just jog on the spot. I'll show you from a sideways view. And we're just going to flick the heel to our bottom once every three steps. So just one. And then it'll be the other leg next one. Other leg next one. Other leg next one. Other leg once. Other leg once. Okay? Legs wide apart. Hands down onto the, the floor. Let's just have a walk over to our toes. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Back across again to our other toes. Hold it for three, two, one. Come back to the middle, out in front. Hold it for one, two, three, four. Come back just behind the heels. Hold it for one, two, three, four. Okay? Individual, if you prepare yourself correctly, you're going to reduce the chance of getting yourself hurt slash injured. So please take this sort of stuff seriously. We're going to start with nice and easy, straight onto our shoulder drags. Let's get both feet working, nice and sharp. Very good. Taps, plenty of touches, very good. Travel across, go right foot to left foot, left, left, back to right foot, back to left foot, back to right foot, and we're going to keep changing the foot every time, working, keeping our feet moving. This time we're going to use our outside foot turn, dribble across, outside foot turn, loads of touches, outside foot turn, outside foot turn, plenty, plenty of touches. Soul push, we go soul, soul push, soul, soul push, soul, soul push, soul, soul push, soul, soul push. Now, so all we're going to do is going to roll across, come back, forwards, backwards, across, come back, forwards, backwards, across, come back, forward, push, come back, pull, push, come back, pull, push, come back, pull, push, come back. Excellent stuff. On our footwork. All we're going to do is going to go for four, one, two, three, four, really quick toe taps. We're then going to rock backwards. On this side, obviously, it's going to be right arms. Try not to hit any of them. When we get to the top, we're going to go round. So we're going to work all the way around the cone, work it back through. And you must stop it with the same foot you started with. Stop it with the right foot, come around. We're then going to go four toe taps, one, two, three, four, working back, always facing forwards to start. Then we're going to dribble, loads of left foot, loads of touches, work our body around the cones. Working around, plenty of touches, stop the ball with your left foot, back to, back to four toe taps, back to our right foot. For six quick penguins, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're then going to work backwards. All we're going to do now is our right foot's going to be on the ball. 
we're going to pretend we're going to go behind each cone, drag it back, push it forward. Behind the cone, drag it back, push it forward. Behind the cone, drag it back, push it forward. Try not to hit the cones, push it forward, drag it back, come across, push it forward, drag it back, push it across, come forward. Six quick penguins, one, two, three, four, five, six, stop the ball, don't let the ball roll away. Again to the inside, go behind, come forward, behind, come forward, behind, come forward, and we're going to end. And we will work back as well. Quick sole drags, stop the ball. We're then going to come back to get the uh, right foot side again. We're going to go right foot. All we're going to do is we're going to go round all of the cones through the gates, like the forwards and backwards running, all right foot. Outside, outside, working all the way back through. Plenty of right foot touches, working our body around the ball. The more touches you take, the better. Stop the ball, make sure it stays still. Six soul drags. Get our ball. Again, we're working around every single cone, left foot only, keeping it close. As soon as we get round, can we turn? Stay really close to those cones. Plenty of touches. Inside, outside, use all four parts of that foot. Bring the get back around, stop the ball, back to our sole drags. Working the opposite to the defender. So if we go towards the orange cones first, we're going to be bursting out the orange side. So all we're going to do to start, we're going to take our ball. We're going to dribble, 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 come across. We're going to stop, step, take that touch back into an outside touch to break through the next gap and away. We're going to go to that first gap. Stop, step, pretend to come across, pretend to go through the next gap, outside, burst away. We're going to go L into a drop the shoulder to burst back straight away. Again for here. Okay, another sharp one, L, burst, break the shoulder, come back out. So over and out, take that touch, straight away into a roll trap to break out this side. Into the wrong foot, over and out, take that touch, roll trap, break away. with this foot, straight away with that same foot, we're going to go pull, push to break through the first gap. Start with, it's going to be an L, straight away, pull, push to burst and break. Okay, triple, here's what we're going to do now, we're going to go inside foot, touch, bang, as we get to here, we're going to go chop to outside to break back out. our first cone, nutmeg, spin, take that touch, you're then going to go drop the shoulder, take that touch again, you're going to go flip, flat, fake pass to break back out, excellent combination. Last couple of exercises, so we're going to go really sharp now, all we're looking to do is we're going to go left foot, we're going to go right across our body, outside to come back, chop to break it away, we're going to go right across our body, outside to come back, chop to break it away. foot to start with towards this yellow. We're going to go yes, fake pass, come round the ball. Fake pass inside the ball. After our last fake pass, all we're looking at doing now is can we go any Esther that double touch to beat the top cone? One, two, to burst and break past. Obviously, if you've done uh, our right foot, we'll do our left foot. So again, we're going to go drag to open the body. So sorry, we're going to go fake pass, make me believe, yes, outside touch, yes, inside touch. And then the final skill, again, can we beat this Iniesta? One, two, behind the cone to burst out.